nothing endures without harmony. And harmony only endures through us. We are unmoving like the mountain. We will not be drowned by the raging river. Behold the wonders of the Celestial Dragon Empire! The might of our warriors! The secrets of our alchemists! The sorcery of the Dragon Blooded! Vanquish Chaos! with the sheer power of the dragon! Let them face the majesty of Grand Cathay! Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia, and what we just saw is the Enter the World of Cathay trailer. And we're doing a bit of a reaction video on it, because there is not too much to dive into the video in terms of detail since most of this stuff has been shown in previous trailers as well as a few of the blogs from both Creative Assembly and Game Workshop describing details of this brand new Grand Cathay faction. And we get another in-game trailer presentation uh, from Creative Assembly as we are moving closer and closer toward the launch of the game. I'm sure we'll get a more detailed update in terms of the rosters for the Grand Cafe faction as we move into the coming weeks and maybe a bit more lore since this is a relatively unexplored uh, realm of lore for the Warhammer universe. Now, the trailer itself opens in what I assume to be Shangyang or the Western uh, city in the world of Grand Cathay, as we are now featuring kind of Zhao Ming's territory, or the younger brother, as we have found out that Miao Ying is the eldest daughter of the Dragon Emperor, and everyone else is her younger siblings, including Zhao Ming, who is the dragon in charge of the western parts of the Cathay, and the city of Shangyang is his domain, and it guards kind of the entryway towards the Ivory Road or the Warhammer Universe's um, Silk Road. And you get a bit of silk ribbons here in the background as well on most of these buildings, kind of paying homage to that. And we see the desert uh, outside of the city instead of potentially more snowy setting for the north. And as we continue here, we see some familiar units, which apparently are called Longma, which literally translate to Dragon Horse. Now, there are references to this creature, but uh, they're very minor in terms of Chinese mythology, and the wings should not be reptilian. Uh, but disregarding that, we see a siege battle. And siege battles is a point of contention for a lot of old Warhammer fans, because sieges tend to be a bit boring in Warhammer. And you see units on the wall, so potentially that's added in. And right off the bat, we see we're fighting once again against Chaos. And the cool thing here is your alchemists apparently have sort of flare countermeasures that can counteract enemy spells. And we get a up close look at the new crossbow units, which was something that was kind of missing from the last trailer, which featured more exotic units since uh, the Northern Realm is next to what's called the Gunpowder Road. And you have lords in the region who specialize in making special weapons. Here out West, you get the more traditional Chinese crossbow, which is a mainstay of Chinese armies since the Qin Dynasty. And here we get an up-close shot of Zhao Ming and our favorite unit, the Terracotta Sentinels, which is definitely going to be my favorite unit. And he even shows off a bit at the end of this trailer, which we'll highlight. And from the infantry, everything's pretty familiar. You get the peasant type, you get some palace guard type, and the jade uh, guardian one that we've seen up close before. Then we see the sisters also in this battle for cinematic reasons, and this very cool unit with the shield and the long rifle, which we've seen before in um, screenshot. And we continue to see a bit more magic, the same black ink scroll, 
from the sorcerers that are available to uh, Mao Ying's faction because she represents kind of the black of the yin yang side and then this wind one that represents Zhao Ming with the white uh, wind magic and as these two brother and sisters transform into their dragon form pay close attention to the terracotta sentinel on the left that is spinning his glaive and wiping out entire unit of the chaos faction and that's pretty much the highlight of this it's once again another very wow in your face kind of trailer that just getting you hyped for uh, the upcoming launch next year so we're fully about maybe four or five months out i don't know what early 2020 means it could be first quarter uh probably means before summer that's probably the safest uh, call right now and we'll get to know the exact date as we move closer towards the end of the year so that's pretty much it for this trailer and hopefully you guys enjoy this and we'll see you all with more news come especially when they do the full roster review down the line so until then bye